Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Well, today I'm having some regular coffee. It's pecan pie flavor. I just wanted to switch it up a little bit. I've had it before and I know it's good. So today is going to be 76 degrees. It's cloudy with a chance of rain. So that's okay. We can use a little more rain. This has been the nicest summer. Always low 80s. There's been a few days where it's gone up to the upper 80s. But the mornings have been very pleasant and cool. And even the evenings are nice. Sometimes during the day it's a little too hot to work in the garden, but um, in the morning it's really nice. So these are the cups I'm trying to sell. Not just cups, but it's a whole set of dishes. The mugs that um, I got rid of went to the donation earlier this week. But the set that I have, the dishes set, these are the mugs that come with it. And I really like this set. But I don't need a service for, I think it's 16. I don't even know. But anyway, I'm selling a service for 8 and hopefully I'll get a little cash for that. We'll see. People have been clicking on it on Marketplace. But the thing is... I do have the price set up there pretty high. So I'll lower the price eventually. But for now, um, I mean, the dishes mean something to me. So if, if I can sell it for more money, I will. And if not, then, well, I'll reduce the price a little. And otherwise, I'll just keep them and try again or just leave them up on marketplace so okay let's give the coffee a try again I have chocolate creamer in here because that goes with everything in my opinion yes very tasty so today I'm going to try to do something in the garage I don't know if I'll get around to it I think I've been having a fibro flare because I've just been really having low energy and body aches and so it makes it difficult to get much done. But I keep trying. I keep moving along. You can't just sit there. I mean, that first of all, that would be totally boring. And secondly, it wouldn't be good at all because use it or lose it. And I don't, I don't want to lose it, so I just keep chugging along. I do what I can, and then I rest when I have to, and then I get back at it. So, uh, yeah, it's a lot taking care of the garden and the house, but other people do it, so I figure, well, I could do it too. So, anyway... That's my plan for the day. If I don't do that, then I might go visit my mom. We'll see, because I still have to go to the library. And, yeah, I could renew them online, but I still have to take the books back because I don't want to keep them in the house. It just adds to my clutter if I'm done with them. So I still have to let the doggy out next door. It's Lizzie's brother. And um, he looks a little bit different than Lizzie. He has a little bit more of a poodle look. But he's a really sweet dog too. But I have to get over there and give him his breakfast. And she also has a cat. So those two guys need to be fed. And I'll be very happy when she's back home and she can take care of her animals herself. <laughs> but I don't mind. He's so happy when I go over there and visit him. He just gets all excited. So she did hire a dog walker like every other day. 
and so that helps and it gets him out of the house because I can't really sit there with him. I have my own dogs over here and then of course I always have something to do and because everything takes me forever and a day to get it done I can't really just go sit over there. So anyway, um, they're getting back on Monday and I still have to order the donation people again because I want to keep going on that and I'm sure I'll find a lot of things in the garage that can be donated. So slowly but surely um, projects are getting done and uh, I'll be very happy when they are done but there'll always be another project. You know I think we try to fool ourselves and say I'm done. Yeah, and you're done with a project and then something else comes up. So, all right, I'm going to drink my coffee here, go let Rusty out, and I will meet you at the budget book. All right, here we are back at the budget book. So yesterday I didn't spend any money. The only place I went was to let my daughter's dogs out. I didn't go to Mark's. I didn't feel like I needed to go yet, so I'm eating up what I have first. I still have some apples that I can eat. I have things in the freezer that I'm eating. So um, I have potatoes, and so I'm still good for a while. But eventually I need to go because there are a few things that I enjoy that um, I want to get. So anyway, um, one of my viewers suggested I have a garage sale, but I won't have a garage sale. To me, a garage sale is a whole lot of work for a very little money. You know, for me to say, okay, um, I'll take a quarter for that, whatever it is, isn't worth it. I would much rather just donate the things, or if they're things worth selling, then I'll sell them on Marketplace. So, no, no garage sales for this gal. By the time you get everything out and put everything back that you don't sell, and then you got to donate it anyway, and um, it, it's just not worth it to me. I've had garage sales in the past. And if you make a hundred dollars, you're doing well. So um, at least that's the way it is around here. So uh, I won't be doing that. So I'm going to stay on on the path that I'm on, getting my debt paid down. It's not like I owe the world, um, but it needs to be paid. So that's what I'll continue to do. And over the past three years, I've paid off big huge chunk of what I owed so I think I'm doing pretty well so don't beat yourself up you know if you have some debt try and get it paid off the best you can and still continue to live your life because that's an important part of it too you know you don't always want to put nose to the grindstone because that gets really old and then um, it kind of sets you up to fail so you have to still continue to enjoy life. You know, go have go have a lunch with friends if if you enjoy uh books, buy a book, whatever it is you want. You can get cheap books, either go to half price books or you can get used books on Amazon. Um that's usually what I do. Um I buy a like new used book. Um if that's what you enjoy. So continue to do the things you'd like to do. But in the meantime, be mindful of your spending and don't overdo it. So you didn't get into debt in a day, at least most of us didn't, unless you're getting a new roof. <laughs> so it's going to take a while to get out of debt. So that's my opinion. Uh, that's what I think. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. Um, 
Do you think it's best just not to ever buy anything or do anything and just get it paid? Or do you think it's better to get it paid and continue to live life? So anyway, I don't plan on going anywhere today except for the library. I do need to take those books back. Um, so I'm probably going to do that. And we'll see what else gets done today. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm going to try and do a little bit in the garage anyway. Yesterday I turned on the faucet. I have a sink out there, a utility sink. And uh, the water started spraying all over the place. So I need a new faucet out there. This is the second one. It, I have one with one of those pull-out sprayers. And um, this is the second one of those now that have uh, sprouted a hole. So I'm not getting those anymore. I liked it because of the dogs. I could stick them in the tub and give them a bath. But I don't do that anymore either. I usually take them to the groomer. So uh, I'm just going to get a regular faucet. And um, my grandson's dad is a plumber, so I'll enlist him to help me um, get a new faucet. So anyway, that is the plan, another thing to do, and uh, get her done and get it paid and have a nice life. Life goes on. Well, good morning and cheers. Thought I'd finish my coffee with you this morning. So I just ordered the donation people to come again. They're coming on August 1st, so yay. Uh, that keeps me motivated uh, because I donate to senior dogs. Um, another thing that I want to do, I want to go through, I have a lot of old blankets, and I want to donate those to, we have um, in Berea, which is the little uh, suburb right next to where I live, um, they have a dog rescue place there. So I want to gather up all the old blankets that I have and actually physically go there and donate those. Because I think with the senior dogs, what they do is they probably sell everything that uh, is donated and then the money goes to the senior dogs. I don't think, you know, dishes and things <laughs> go to senior dogs. So I, it's not a direct donation as far as things go, um, but the money from that profits the senior dogs. But um, so with the old blankets, I'm sure those would probably get tossed, but a lot of the rescue groups, they need things like newspapers and uh, blankets, towels. Uh, they need all kinds of things like that. I think you can even donate your linens there and they'll use those as frags. So um, that's what I'm going to do, just to get some of those out of the house. But I don't want to get rid of every single old blanket that I have, because if there's ever a power outage in the winter here, I'm going to need some of those to keep warm. So, uh, but some of them are pretty worn. I've used them uh, as couch covers and you know, over the years and with the dogs there, they're kind of worn out. So um, those are the things that I'm going to donate. I've donated um, other things like leashes that I don't use anymore that are still in good shape and collars that they've outgrown. So um, those are the kind of things that you can directly donate to your shelter. Um, so anyway, I, that's why I find it fairly easy to give my donations to the senior dogs because uh, it means something to me. So try and find a charity that has meaning to you, and I think that way it's a little easier to get rid of your clutter. So um, 
like I said, I don't want to have a garage sale. That's just not what I'm going to do. You have to label everything or bring out tables. And if it rains, you know, um, and besides that, we're not really supposed to have garage sales in the HOA area here. Uh, not that that would stop me because <laughs> I'm just a rebel. So, no. But, um... Eh, I try and follow the rules to a point, unless they're really stupid. But um, anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. Um, I just, I've, I've had garage sales, and it just was not worth it. So uh, that's not anything that I'm going to do. And I also wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, in this day and age, most people, I think, have some debt. may not be a lot, um, but it's, it's just so easy to whip out that credit card and like, okay, here you go. And I'm guilty of that, and almost everybody I know is guilty of that. But I'm really trying to live within my means, and so far it's been working. You know, I'm paying off my debt. And I'm still enjoying life because I think that's important. Um, and, you know, I'm paying down the debt. And so try and at least keep some pleasantries in your life. You don't need to give up everything um, in order to pay off your debt. But just don't make new debt. That's, that's important. You know, I mean... Um, I know it's get rid of the credit cards and blah, blah, blah. But for me, I think this is my opinion. You can let me know what you think in the comments below. But having a credit card available in case there's something that you have to have it for um, is not a bad idea. So my biggest thing was always Amazon. Because it's just so easy. Oh, that's nice. And oh, uh, that's really cool. I need to have that. And But I'm really, I've reined that in. Um, because I just don't want to, I don't want to live that way anymore. And I have too much stuff as it is. You know, so the decluttering helps me actually um, stop doing that. You know, do I really need this? No. Um, I'd like it, but you know. And then sometimes I put things in my cart and they sit there for, you know, two or three weeks. And then I go back and it's like, eh, do I really want that? No. So I'll put it in my save for later. And I go through that every now and then and clean that out. Because a lot of the things I just don't even want. So um, that's kind of how I deal with um, not shopping. So, and I try not to go into Walmart. I do occasionally because I need to go in there for something. But um, usually I'll have a delivery or a pickup. And to me, it's worth it. I, the money that I save on the free delivery, which I think now is $13, uh, the money I save by not going into that store is well worth it to me because um, I just don't look around to buy things you know I mean it's it's very tempting when you go in there unless you really don't you know you don't like clothes you don't like this you don't like that but I'm a person that I like clothes you know I like pretty things in my house uh, but if I don't see it then I don't want it so to me, that's worth it um, to have the delivery, and I only go and I look at what I absolutely have to have, and I don't even look around on the website, you know, uh, because then it would just be another Amazon, which I don't need. So I do have a Prime membership. I've had one for years, and boy, that has really gone up. But I do watch Prime. Um, uh, the videos and, and the shows and stuff, so um, I think that's worth keeping for me anyway. And when I do 
buy something, uh, I usually get free shipping, depending on what it is. And I know sometimes the free shipping, the article costs more than if you were to um, actually pay the shipping. So a lot of times, like if I buy a book and it's used, um, I'll always look and see what they have uh, that I can buy used. I bought uh, most of my uh, garden beds, the um, city picker. I bought most of those used for way less than if I bought it new and there was absolutely nothing wrong with them when they arrived. So, um, and sometimes even the used things will, you can use your free shipping on Prime. So, you know, we all have our, our druthers. Now, I never used to watch TV, uh, very rarely, but now that I've gotten older, I do watch TV. Uh, usually I watch YouTube videos, um, on my television that's why a lot of times I don't comment because then I have to run my phone and the TV so uh, for me it's a, it's a source of entertainment that uh, I think is worth it so and I like a, a nice variety of shows and then when I do find a show I usually end up binge watching it um, so I like to look for shows that have at least two or three seasons and um, I hear the writers and uh, the other people in Hollywood are going on strike. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, you know, I mean, a lot of them think that, uh, at least the actors, uh, think that their opinion really matters, which it doesn't to me. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do the opinions of a lot of these actors matter to you? Uh, but I guess some people are like, oh, yeah, so-and-so said this and this, and, you know, it's like, who cares? But I do enjoy um, watching some of their craft, let's put it that way. But it's like, in my opinion is, you know, stick to your acting and forget about your political shtick and just do your craft and be done with that. Just my opinion. Well, so anyway, um, I'm happy with the way I'm paying off my, my debt, um, and I'll continue to do what I'm doing. You know, there's certain little pleasures that I enjoy that I will continue to do. Um, you know, if you're saving... A dollar twenty-five on a bottle of you know nail polish and you know big deal. So that dollar twenty-five brings you pleasure. Then spend the dollar twenty-five. Now if you're spending twelve dollars on a bottle of nail polish, well you know that I draw the line. I'm a bargain shopper, and when I do buy things, they're almost always on markdown or on sale. I've always shopped that way. And I'll continue to shop that way. But I really had to rein in my spending because it was out of control. And I don't even know what triggered it. Um, maybe because, yeah, I, I really don't know. But there was a time in my life where um, when I was younger and I had kids and stuff like that at home, they always came first, so I didn't spend a lot of money on myself. Um, now that they're grown and gone, you know, I've afforded myself some some pleasures and um, actually too many pleasures. <laughs> so that's why I'm decluttering. But, you know, sometimes there's things that happen in, in your life that sort of trigger something. So... I think for me it was kind of a, I always had everything like used and, you know, I, I, so I figured when I made money, I figured, well, I deserve this, you know, I deserve this, I deserve this. 
And maybe I did, maybe I didn't, but, you know, I mean, I always saved money, too. It wasn't like I spent every penny that I had, but, um, you know, I've been retired now for 10-ish years, and, um, you know, sometimes your income changes, and that makes a big difference in your life. You know, you get divorced, or uh, for some reason you end up and you're you have a whole lot less money than than what you had planned to have so in those cases you kind of need to make adjustments and um so that's kind of the place that i found myself in and it's fine you know i'm doing i'm okay i'm doing okay so anyway that is my take on spending and not spending and what's important to spend on for me and what's not important to spend on. So, all right, my friends, that's all I have for you today. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.